Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and friends. I hope everyone is fine with the blessing of Almighty Allah. So without any delay, let's start today's video. RK53 Communication Engineering. Actually, uh, this is my uh, question from my friends, a non-Muslim. Uh, uh, she asked me this question, but I cannot answer it. <laughs> okay, uh, question is, why uh, Allah uh, our God not show itself like another region God like uh, she's a uh, God uh, she is a uh, Chinese uh, she know the physical of their gods and she's know about the power of their gods so why uh, Allah not show itself thank you hmm. well, that's a question that one of his non-Muslim friends, she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show himself? Like in other religions, they can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason, in, the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam is the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he shows himself, you will not be able to live. It's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, then Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa alayhi salam turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain yeah. and Musa alayhi salam faints. That is the power of Allah. It's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see him. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say it Allah one and only. Allah samad. Allah the absolute eternal. Lam yulid wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ad. There is nothing like him in this world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. So any other religious people say this is God. The moment you can compare God, to anything in this world, he is not a true God. Mm. This is a four line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God. Any human being, whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Say he's Allah one and only. Allah the absolute yeah. eternal. He begets not noise begotten. And let me ask you a question. Which is the highest reward that you can think you can get, brother? Where's the questioner? Where's the questioner gone? Can you stand, brother? Yes, correct, yes. I'm right. You are, I'm right. Brother, which is the highest reward you can get? Highest reward that a Muslim can get? Jannah. Right? Is there anything higher than Jannah? No. Yes? Someone said yes? Yes? Is there anything higher than Jannah? I think there was hadith that... Just tell the answer. No. Is there anything higher than Jannah? Yes. So tell. What is it? Uh, seeing Allah, uh, the Jannah. Higher than Jannah is Firdos. Higher than Jannah is Firdos is Jannah is Firdos Allah. And the highest is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. Oh. We as human beings cannot see the Vaj, the face of Allah in this form. But when we go to Jannah, everyone in Jannah will not see the face of Allah. Mm. Only those who are in Jannah is Firdos or Jannah is Firdos or Allah, close to the Prophet, Allah will not show his face always. We would urge, we would desire to see his face. So the highest reward that any Muslim or any human being can get, Jannah is a high reward but not the highest. Jannah is the high but not highest. It is seeing the face of Allah, the wajah of Allah. So tell your non-Muslim friend that if they follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asr, have Iman, have righteous deed, Exhort people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah, inshallah. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. 
And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she'll be able to see the face of Jannah. Uh, will be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being will not see only those who receive the highest award in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos al Allah, and we see the face of Allah, inshallah. Brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of Dr. Zatir Naid because Dr. Zatir Naid always gave answers according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in today's video, we have watched a video of Dr. Zatir Naid and a Chinese boy who came to Dr. Zatir Naid on the behalf of his friend and he asked the question to Dr. Zatir Naid that why we can't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our naked eyes and why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't appear himself in this world. So guys, in today's society, where all can be seen due to internet, the numerous technologies and social platforms, it is difficult for many people to believe that Allah exists. Why can't we see him? Why he is hidden from us? And what if we could, would not it nullify the purpose of our test? How free would we be, be knowing that the one we are supposed to obey to is as visible as anyone around us? So guys, this is the very normal question which every non-Muslim want to ask from Muslim. So as you can see in the video, this Chinese boy asked the question to Dr. Zatir Naid about the visibility of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Dr. Zatir Naid told the story of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam when Musa alayhi salam forced Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show himself to Prophet Musa. And what happened next? That all stories and all the scenes in mention in the Holy Quran and you can see that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show himself to Musa alayhi salam, he could not see him and God fainted. So guys, this is the reality and this is the reason why we can't see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are also many other reasons due to that we are unable to see our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises us if we get reward by doing good things on this earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward us Jannah in the Akhirah and in the Jannah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show himself to all Muslims who will be going to Jannah. So this is also a price of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So guys what do you think about today's video please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you are satisfied with the answers of Dr. Zatir Naik then it's a request to you guys please. Share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it and other requests. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first. So see you guys in next video till then Allah Hafiz.